Hi friends, good morning. It's the third Sunday of Advent, which is so special. Today we get to light our third candle together. And I am in a different spot today. I'm in Jack and June and Jojo's room. So it might be a little loud at my house, but I hope we can still enjoy our time together. I brought some friends to my prayer table today. These are some special stuffies that are, are special to my kids. So we have Ferdinand and a Lammy and Princess Elena. Sometimes it can be fun to bring special things to our prayer table to help us remember what things we want to say thank you to God for, or maybe even just to remember how much love God has shared with us in our families and our friends in all kinds of ways. So I can remember when I see these to say thank you for Jack and June and Jojo and thank you for helping us to feel your love, God, all the time. Maybe you have a favorite book or um, a favorite stuffed animal or something else that's special to you. Maybe some artwork or something else that you could bring to your prayer table to, to help you talk to God about that. Today, I have a prophecy about a town, a town called Bethlehem. Maybe you know that name. Well, this prophecy is from the prophet Micah. Maybe we remember that prophets listen closely to a special message from God, and they tell people what God has said, so they have a very special job to do. They have a listening job. So we can listen now to what the prophet Micah heard and what he shared with the people. It says, But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. this prophecy, God is talking to a town, the town of Bethlehem. And we hear it, God say that even though Bethlehem is small, it's one of the smaller clans, the little clans of Judah, from Bethlehem shall come forth someone who is to rule over Israel whose origin is from of old, of ancient days. It sounds like Bethlehem has a special gift to give. From Bethlehem will come one who will rule like a king. Bethlehem is sharing, is bringing a gift to Israel that is very special. A ruler. And what does it say at the end? Whose origin. That means where something or someone comes from. Who comes from of old. From ancient days. Hmm. I wonder about that. Someone who is from of old. Long ago, maybe. Maybe we'll think about that a little bit more. Sometimes when I listen to these prophecies, I like to remember that I can still listen to God, just like the prophets were listening. So I can pray that God would help me to listen to these words and understand them in my heart. I pray that you, Lord, would help us to listen just like the prophets were listening to you. And please be with my friends. 
Be with Corbin and Karen and Jack and Sam. Be with Hannah and Maggie and Mark and Andy. Be with Felicity and Gabe. Be with Jenny and Georgia. Be with Jack and June. Be with all of my friends who watch these videos, who are far away. Be with everyone who is helping to take care of each other. Amen. Let's light our third candle. So, do you remember the song? Oh, I pushed so hard. Light one candle for hope, one bright candle for hope. He brings hope to all the world. He comes, he comes. Light one candle for joy, one bright candle for joy. He brings joy to all the world. He comes, he comes. Light one candle for peace. One bright candle for peace. He brings peace to all the world. He comes. 